Hi again, it's Chrissy here with your seventh and final stage in the emotional cycles of deployment. Um, these videos again are created to be delivered during the global pandemic, so we're tailoring them specifically to that climate. So we have gone through all of our stages and ended up in the reintegration and stabilization um, stage. So what that looks like is it looks like we have gone through the reintegration and the renegotiation process, whether that is the average six weeks or longer or shorter, but we feel like we have reintegrated as a family, as a couple, we have found our new normal. And for single service members that we have found a way to um, feel like we have found ourselves within our new environment and that we have shifted from the deployment lifestyle only to feeling like we have um, some other things that interest us and some other things that that um, we spend our time doing. So let's look, about, look at how that looks different between service members and family members. Again, because we're talking about reintegration and reintegration together as a unit or as a couple, um, a lot of these will look the same. So we should expect that the family would feel more relaxed and more comfortable with each other, um, feel relaxed in our roles and feel um, that way within the home. Um, that we have a new, renewed sense of family. It's not unusual for service members to compartmentalize and um, kind of leave that family situation for someone else to deal with. And it takes a while for us to feel like we are back in our um, role as a parent or an aunt or an uncle or wh if, whatever the role is for uh, the service member. So we have a renewed sense of family. We feel um, uh, confident in that role. Um, we will also feel more back on track emotionally. We will feel like we don't have the sense of longing or anxiety or maybe depression that might have accompanied um, deployment, but we'll feel more like we are in our roles. We are accepting the new normal. We feel like things are coming to us in a way that we can understand. Um, and then for our singles, they might have a renewed sense of family as well because they have their extended family or the people that they consider to be family, um, but they will also start to pursue other interests that are outside of work. And I would encourage all service members, not just single service members to do that. So if you had a hobby like fishing or you enjoyed woodworking or you had um, additional things that you did outside of your job with the military, this is a good time to kind of reintegrate yourself into those hobbies. Now with your friends and family, um, I wanna remind them that you might not be able to reach out to those extended family members or those friends during this time also. So that might be a period of just getting comfortable in your own space for service members. And then later when it's safe, being able to see those friends and family um, face to face. However, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't find other unique ways to reintegrate with your family members or your friends. Um, just realize that everyone is actually having to change the way that they reach out for social contact. So that's not unique to only you. We're all dealing with this. But get creative in some of the ways that you can still interact with people and still maintain a safe distance and adhere to whatever state county, city requirements that you have at the moment. Um, now, the unfortunate thing about the military lifestyle is that we might feel like we have recovered and stabilized and reintegrated just in time for another deployment and we will go back to um, the anticipation of departure for stage one. Um, the other thing that I would say with COVID-19 is it, it would be pretty normal for uh, several service members and families to have gotten short fuse billets or that deployment has moved up or been pushed back, or that there might be a period of quarantine where a service the sailor needs to be away from the family before deploying. So be ready for that as well. And get very, again, very creative in some of the ways you can still feel connected as a unit or with your friends or with your family members while still adhering to Navy recommendations, state recommendations, etc. All right. So I think that some of the tips for people who can get to the renegotiation and the stabilization phase sooner 
are people that have gratitude for the general process, whether that means that as a family, I'm committed to my significant other and to my children, or if as a service member and as a family, we're created, we are committed to um, the Navy mission as a whole. So showing gratitude for the process and um, one, we appreciate the job that they do and also that I learn something from these experiences. I learn more about myself, more about my children. I adapt and I grow in this process. These are people who will recover quicker um, during the emotional cycles. Another thing is being able to recognize change and accept change. So change is bound to happen. Everyone experiences change. Those of us going through pandemic are experiencing something that no one has experienced before. Unless you know someone who survived the last pandemic in 1918 and is still alive, um, we are all experiencing something new and we are all adapting and changing very quickly. So when you are able to recognize change and, to, and able to accept it sooner, you are going to go through the adapting process quicker. And I like to remind people that there are three things, and this is just my idea, three things that you need in order to be happy. You need something to do, something that you do that contributes to the world, something that you do that you find joy or um, industry you feel like you offer to society or to an organization, something to do, someone to love that doesn't have to be a significant other, that can be a pet, that can be uh, friends that can be family members that can be extended family members something to do someone to love and something to look forward to which by the way a lot of us are having to change that I personally had a vacation planned for about one week after uh, the world changed this happens right so I have to change my something to look forward to to something that fits the current climate okay so those family vacations might need to be staved off for homecoming or for our reunion process. Those events might need to be pushed off. Um, just realize everyone is experiencing this general uncomfortableness and we will figure this out all together. But consider when you don't understand why you're feeling a little unhappy, express gratitude, um, work through some exercises to help you recognize and accept change. And remember your three keys of happiness, something to do, someone to love, something to look forward to. And that can be just as simple as, I'm gonna make a chocolate cake on Friday, like my grandmother used to do. Every Friday she would make a chocolate cake and every Sunday she would have a roast. And that's what they looked forward to. That's what my grandmother said that she, that's how she marked the week. Chocolate cake on Friday, roast on Sunday. So find some ways that you can reintegrate that into your daily lifestyle. So that's it for your emotional cycle of deployment. Thank you for watching. Um, look for our other some of our other reintegration um, video series for service members at the Return and Reunion curriculum. There's several courses in that. For family members, we'll have additional briefs on homecoming. That's the day itself and the reintegration for family members and for spouses and other um, other people related to the lifestyle. So. Fleet and Family is here waiting for you. If you should need us for anything, we have changed our services to um, come to you during the pandemic. Um, so call centralized scheduling and we will figure out a way to get you the service that you need. Thanks so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. Bye.